Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I have a new fire starter that I ordered from Amazon. This is something that works great whether you're lighting your barbecue, your fire pit, your wood stove, your fireplace, a pellet stove, any kind of fire that you want to start. These are really great. And the best part is that Amazon will mail them to you for $12 for 50 of them even to Alaska, which a lot of the fire starters, you can't even order matches, batteries, none of that stuff will ship up here, and things that are heavy won't ship without a huge surcharge. So I'm extremely excited to share with you lightning nuggets. You can see they come in a box. It's all wrapped up. There is some sawdust around in the container. Lightning nuggets are made out of highly resinous sawdust, and paraffin wax, so they're completely non-toxic. They're safe to use even in your barbecue grill. You can see there's a box full of lightning nuggets. The directions are on top, so make sure you hang on to these. You can see they're a nice little, uh, like a cup, a bowl. You only need one, they'll burn 22 minutes and they start a great campfire. So if you don't have kindling and your wood is maybe not dried out and seasoned as much as it could be, these are great. It seems like you would want to put the flat surface down, but when you light these, you don't. You want to put the flat surface up and the cup part down. You want to set it just like a bowl into your fire pit or wherever you're going to use it. You want to light the side of your fire nugget and let it burn for at least 30 seconds before you start piling wood onto it. You, it's just like any fire, however you're starting it. It has to have air and oxygen circulating through it for the fire to burn. Fire needs heat, fuel, and air. So allow the fire to be going before you stack any wood directly on it. I'm excited to take these out into my fire pit. Let's take one out and light it up and try it. Place a few little sticks or kindling. Add your lightning nugget underneath it, but make sure it has lots of air circulating around it. Now, light it. It's best to use something like a utility lighter or a long fireplace match, something that you can hold the flame on it for a little bit longer than a match. Just hold the lighter on it in one place. Allow the lightning nugget to burn for 30 seconds before you add any more wood to it. The lightning nuggets can burn up to 8 inches high. They really get hot. They keep burning for 22 minutes and it's a great way to start a fire with just about any kind of fuel. My fryer's burning great. I'm going to cook a foil packet meal right next to the coals, put it next to the fire, not into the fire, and allow it to heat all the way through. Since these are pretty sawdusty and I don't want anything getting into the box and chewing them up or them getting moist and disintegrating, I'm going to put them into a bucket I got for free at the grocery store. You can see the lightning nuggets work really great and so I'm really pleased to have them. If you wanted to put them in your wood stove, you may want to try two or add one and if it doesn't get going enough, toss another one in. They're nice because if your fire goes out during the night but it's not completely out, you can add one of these and instantly get it going again so you can get back to bed and stay warm. Check out the lightning nugget fire starters. They work great. I'm very pleased with them and I'm glad I have a supply to keep me going throughout the summer at my campfire. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.